Hey everyone, I'm going to go for my citizenship in Hungary. Um, if you guys watch the channel, you guys know I got my citizenship by descent in Jamaica. I'm going to go up my family tree and get my citizenship in Hungary. Um, I really am excited for this opportunity. Um, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to go about the process. We're going to talk about um, how you can get Hungarian citizenship through your bloodline. If this interests you, please stay tuned. If you're interested in the Jamaican video, the link for that is going to be in the description box below. Let's get into it. So let's talk about um, how you would get Hungarian citizenship by descent. Um, you would get Hungarian citizenship by descent um, by having a parent or a grandparent who would be Hungarian. Um, there's some notable exceptions, though. Um, one, um, the biggest one is going to be that woman if they married a non-Hungarian man before 1957, they wouldn't count. Um, if your family member immigrated from Hungary before 1929, they probably wouldn't count. And um, children of Hungarian women who had a non-Hungarian father, um, children aren't... Um, citizens it didn't it was basically it couldn't really be passed on until october 1st 1957 couldn't really be passed on through the mother um in those situations and if they left before 1929 they couldn't be passed on those are the notable ones i'll leave a link in the description box below for more information on other cases if you think you might have a special case um so if you those things don't apply to you um you can have what is known as verification of your simple uh, citizenship um if you have proof of your hungarian citizenship like um because birth certificates and marriage certificates wouldn't work you would need like um, a citizen citizenship certificate a naturalization certificate um like a hungarian passport even if it's expired from like your father or something like that as proof that they were actually hungarian or like the registration um that's what it would be not like their id or whatever that's what it would be not um like just a straight birth certificate but that's not enough okay so um you can apply at any embassy um it's free you only have to pay if you want a citizen if you want a passport um usually it's enough to submit your own birth certificate and your parents marriage certificate um if one of your parents were born in hungary or one of your parents had a hungarian passport or id um your hungarian citizenship or your hungarian citizenship of at least one of your parents has been verified before um if that's not met usually birth certificates of the parent who is the hungarian citizen and his or her parents marriage certificates have to be submitted as well so like if it's through your grandparents you would usually have to um like go up the line and get that information um, but please bear in mind that only the long form of the uh, birth certificates and all that information, full or long form are accepted. So just make sure it's that. Um, if you're unable to submit certificates of birth in Hungary or marriage certificates officiating in Hungary, then uh, Hungarian authorities will have to retrieve them from the archives. Um, if your ancestors left before 1945, it is beneficial to provide other Hungarian documents examples are the hungarian passport the id um certificates of domicile old um you can get like baptism certificates things of that nature will help out a lot in this status um so that's a, enough about this because this doesn't really apply to me um i'm going to have to do the process of hungarian citizenship um simplified naturalization style i can't do the by the descent um one i want to say shout out to hungary for even allowing this to be an option um this is very rare that citizenship goes back indefinitely because the hungarian citizenship by descent is only due up to like the grandparents but the citizenship naturalized simple simplified naturalized goes way deep into the past as far back as possible it's really indefinite Um, before I get into it, I want to say I really appreciate the Hungarian government 
opening this opportunity for people like me who have Hungarian roots who want to, in a way, come back home. I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of countries don't go this far back or even have an opportunity like this available to the people. So after I go through the process, I would love to come and speak, um, you know, be a spokesperson for it because I personally really appreciate it. So who qualifies? Um, if your ancestor was Hungarian or is likely to be of Hungarian origin, they quali you qualify. And that's the biggest thing. It doesn't, there's no time frame. It's no citizenship thing. If they're Hungarian or likely to be Hungarian, you qualify. Or they've been married to a Hungarian citizen for 10 years or if they have kids, five. The biggest difference between this and the other one um, is that you have to be able to speak Hungarian. I get it. If you're going to have this long, drawn out chain and people want to come home, I got to make sure you actually want to come home, come back to your people. You got to learn the language. You're going to have to do... Um, a test pretty much you're going to have to be able to speak in Hungarian, like conversational level. You're going to have to go through this whole process in Hungarian. And I know that's a mountain for a lot of people to overcome, but I speak Spanish. I speak um, some Portuguese, learn Hebrew. So to learn language of what my ancestors would have been speaking to have the opportunity, you know, to go and like live where they live potentially, I definitely I'm all over that. Um, you can't have a criminal record. You got to have a clean nose. Um, you also, you cannot be like a war criminal or anything. You can't be a threat to Hungarian security. I don't think there's anybody watching this channel, hopefully, but you can't have a criminal record. You have to have a clean criminal record, no criminal proceedings against you and no Hungarian. That's the biggest thing. Um, what you're going to have to do with you between you and every person, um, you get to the Hungarian citizen you're going to need the birth certificate marriage certificate if applicable it's more so applicable in people who are claiming it through like the mothers because you're going to need to show the maiden names um but get it anyway um and you're going to need the death certificate birth certificate marriage certificate um you're going to need all three of those apostilled uh apostled um that's basically like a fancy type of notarization that's done by the government and all those documents translated into Hungarian. So the other process was free. This process is $117. Um, it's projected to take um, three to four months. Um, it's gonna cost you money to get all those documents translated. Once I finish in the part two, I'll show you guys how much it actually cost me you know, to get all the documents that I need. Um, the biggest thing, is who can translate it um you have to do it at the hungarian council um and you cannot have like bad photocopies um that's that's pretty much it and the only th oh, the only thing is i know i had something to tell you guys you're gonna have to take an oath is it oath or pledge to hungary um that is it could be a Hungarian town or village. Um, it's, that's pretty much it, um, at least as far as I know now. I'll let you guys know if the process is that straightforward. Um, definitely, I think um, if your country allows dual citizenship and you have Hungarian ancestry, you should take advantage of this opportunity while it exists to you in real time. Um, things change, you, it, they could take this program away next week. So I definitely think that you should take advantage now while it still exists. Um, I also believe that anyone who has something in their family tree, they should go see it. And I think I'm um, going through this process, learning my roots and all that has made me a better person. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted for part two and keep in mind, this gives you access to the EU.